What is up everybody, Dan and the Fireman here. Yeah, it's me. We're gonna be doing a in-depth, live action, real life, smart riding. We're gonna be pointing out some hazards while we're riding. I'm just gonna be riding down a straight road so I can minimize the factors because I am talking and trying to pay attention as much as I can to traffic. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get on the road. Practice your tight turns to the right. We practice that on MTC in the Smart Rider Basic Training E-Course. So blinker. Checking the head checks. Okay, so we're coming up to a red light. So intersections, what stage should we be in? Orange stage. All right, so I'm gonna be turning left. I'm using my GPS on my Rockform mount. We got a lot of cool sponsors here. Rockform, Cardo, a lot of ton of stuff and things. And even MTC, MTC Rider Academy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and position myself for safety right here. We got a fire truck right behind me, a fire engine. It's not a truck, it doesn't have a ladder. I'm gonna use this curb as a place to put my foot because I am short. So when we talk about planning a ride, that's actually a good spot over there, but I don't like to be right behind vehicles. So I'm positioned for safety. I'm locating hazards. I'm allowing the space cushion to increase. I'm not accelerating super hard. So this way I have time to look. Nobody coming, nothing in the road, nobody coming, no nothing in the road. Maintain my turn, use both hands. I'm just showing you. We got another intersection coming up here. I have a terrible line of sight when it comes to these trees, but not a big deal because nobody's really coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and move in. Oh, I think we're a good spot. I was gonna move into the other lane. So that's another pattern that we typically see in these crashes where people are stuck behind a big open, I'm sorry, stuck behind a big long line and they wanna to go to the open lane. I was about to do that. So it's always good to understand what you're gonna do because that's what somebody else would do themselves. So we wanna do the speed limit. It's 40, I'm going about 45. I'm going with the flow of traffic. Let's go ahead and get my hands off the handlebars and, and really screw with you guys' heads. But <laughs> I just wanted to mess around a little bit. All right, so what we have here is we got a sharp right turn, or at least the right turn that is gonna be a blind corner. You see the crest of the hill, can't see the road. And now we can see the road, but I can't see the road to the right. On my GPS, it's showing me I wanna do a left turn. So that's why I like having my phone right here. So I'm gonna use my indicators. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the next lane. I always, always, always check my head checks, even when I'm switching lanes towards the end. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and position for safety. Nobody really wants to hit a curb, okay? Nobody wants to hit a curb, but uh, they don't mind hitting you know, straight ahead. So I'm gonna be off to the side. Hopefully there's this big enough gap so if somebody does need to find an escape path around this corner, they're gonna go right in here. Now I'm keeping my eye on this white vehicle behind me. They are slowing down, it looks like. And I cannot wait for Arizona to pass their, oh wait, they already did. Arizona passed the lane filtering bill. It's got signed by the governor. It's gotta be, uh, once it goes into law, it's like 90 days or something like that. Anyways, by the end of this year or by the summer, we're probably gonna have lane filtering. It's, it's gonna happen. So I'm really excited for that. What I'd be doing is moving up, obviously in between those vehicles, cause that's safer for getting rear-ended. I don't wanna get rear-ended. So that's what I'd be doing. So while I'm sitting here at a red light, I'm looking at the gravel in front of me. I'm looking through the turn right here. It looks like a pretty easy turn, no road surface hazards. Once again, I'm gonna allow this person to increase their space cushion so that when I actually go through this turn, I can actually make adjustments on the fly and not have like random things just pop up. So here we go. Look, look, look. Nobody's going because you don't want to get T-boned. Green does not always mean go. So I'm gonna maintain the space cushion and increase it by just switching lanes. So when we talk about planning, I located this hazard, you know, space cushion, line of sight, all these different things. We got this left turn, he's gonna do a U-turn. And I just adapted, I just moved over to a different position. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and go into a different position here. It's another red light. I'm sorry guys, we keep hitting these red lights, but you know, that's what it is when we're commuting, okay? So once again, I'm gonna position for myself for safety. I'm gonna be off to the left because you see how there's like this little bit of like a bike lane type thing, a little space. I'm gonna go into that area. I don't wanna go into the oil and put my foot down and slip and then now drop the bike on my ankle and snap my ankle, but that's why I wear boots. I wear a lot of boots. So right now I'm looking forward. What's up guys? Right now I'm looking forward and I'm double checking, making sure there's no road surface hazards in the intersection. You notice how my line of sight is terrible to the left. And typically we green light goes first, then red or then green arrow. So I'm gonna keep an eye on any cross traffic for anybody running a red light before I go. The person behind me is giving me a massive space cushion. Thank you very much, appreciate it. 
and we might have to be editing a lot of these dead spots out so I can stop talking. All right, have fun. Now you just ruined the uh, the lights. Got the Opticom going on. They just got a call behind them. <laughs> I miss and I don't miss that. Here we go, I'll let them go first. So if they get sideswiped, it hits them first. All right, going through here. Now when it comes to lane positioning, what do I do? Lane position one, two, three, all that stuff. Well, I like to be lane position two for the most part. So I'm right in the middle, middle position. And I like to be staggered with other vehicles. I'm always doing a 360 situational awareness, head checks and everything, checking mirrors, checking blind spots, making sure nobody's around. Because if at any point I need to swerve out of the way, so I'm gonna use my indicator and be like, oh no, I gotta swerve. I wouldn't have to do a head check. It would be instinctual. Red stage maneuver, boom, get going. So right now I like the space cushion with the amount of time I can react in. I just can't see very far. So what do I do? is I just go ahead and move over here and now look how far I can see. I'm still within my lane. I don't want my handlebars sneaking over so I'm gonna move over just a little bit, but I could see a lot farther than I could if I was right behind in lane position too. So when it comes to planning and positioning, you're always adjusting yourself, a road surface hazard right here, always adjusting yourself based off of what you have. You want to have a good vision, so line of sight, you wanna have good escape paths, you wanna have at least two, I mean a minimum one, but come on, let's get two. And then the space cushion to the forward side to side. So when it comes to the space cushion specifically, okay, we always talk about we'll have one, you know, to the sides and have a little bit up front, but why do you have it up front? Okay, so if you if your space cushions are diminished by let's say traffic on both sides of you, like you have a car to your left, you have a car to your right, but you also have a car in front of you like this. Let's say we're kind of boxed in. Where can I escape? I can't accelerate to get out of somebody's way if they're merging because I'm gonna hit this uh, Buick Encore. So I'm always maintaining a space cushion in front of me just in case somebody wants to merge so I can either uh, decelerate by braking, progressive braking, or by accelerating because this is a freaking 1200S. <laughs> so it can accelerate pretty good. It can accelerate pretty good. So what I don't want to do is be in this person's uh, blind spot. So I kind of uh, scooted back. I have uh, my peripheral vision on this red car to my right. And I'm just kind of maintaining. So right now I don't like the space cushion in front of me. I don't need to get to where I need to go quickly, so I'm gonna go ahead and position myself a little bit better here. We do have intersections, but one of the good things about a lot of traffic like this is that people wanting to merge, like cross in front of you from these intersections like this, they're not gonna do it because they see the vehicles. There's a lot of vehicles. Now, it gets dangerous when it's like you and one other vehicle, because they see that one vehicle, they don't see you, they pull out. So that's a big scary thing. So we're right here, look. So we have that red vehicle up front, this person in the Camry might want to switch over. Okay, maybe not. The Camry or the Subaru did instead. But that's kind of that uh, uncommon thing, that situation that, that gives me a little bit of that orange feel where, you know, my lane is moving. These two lanes off to the sides aren't. I don't want to be in the blind spots and I don't want to be in the merge spots. So right now we're coming up to a red light. I have no reason to get into the left lane, even though I kind of want to because this person's going slow. I'm just going to go ahead and it's a red light. Nothing you can really do. So we're coming up, and once again, I'm constantly checking. I'm making sure these people see me, so I'm kind of moving around. You know, when, when you're in the woods, if you stand still and you're camouflaged, nobody can really see you, but the moment you start running around, even with camouflage on, oh baby, your eyes will track that. Slow straight line, slow straight line, no foot down, baby. All right, so I don't like this blind spot. I'm gonna go ahead and release the throttle a little bit. Now increase the throttle always checking my positions, planning for my ride, okay? Nobody's going through. We got uh, a pedestrian crossing up ahead. I'm paying attention to signage and a lot of brake lights. When you see a lot of brake lights, that's letting you know we gotta slow down. <laughs> it's common sense, but you know, there's so much going on and that's really the problem is that when you're brand new to riding, you're trying to, to maintain this. You're trying to actually ride the motorcycle. You're, you're doing friction zone. Right now I'm doing slow straight line. You know, you're, you're having to be able to navigate, you know, shift, brake, accelerate smoothly. Everything has to be smooth. So it's a lot of work. I don't know what this person's doing in the cross trek. It's a lot of work. And then now we get into the strategy of things. You know, planning your ride. I gotta get away from here. I don't like the space cushion to my right. Planning your ride where, you know, that's the strategy. 
but what do we do you know with intersections you know we got sides of the vehicles you know what about traffic how do we strategize around traffic how do we strategize around a passenger on the bike how do we strategize all these different things and it gets a lot it's a lot i'm gonna get out of this guy's spot so remember acceleration is also an escape i don't like this person at all to my left making sure i'm going the speed limit okay we're doing good so when it comes to that as a new rider don't kill yourself by trying to do everything at once factors are a huge thing so right now it's it's a lot of traffic it's 10 45 so people are like going to lunch they're gonna I mean from 10 to like 2 is like is, is pretty much a lot of traffic in, in Tucson so don't go out at this time go first thing in the morning where there's nobody you know on a Saturday everyone's like sleeping in go first thing in the morning and, and ride in traffic so you have less traffic and it's a lot easier so then you can actually practice the strategy and then you want to go into expert mode during rush hour you know start off on easy it's not a big deal start off on easy do the tutorial in the parking lot you know and then uh do new game plus and then jump into medium and then beat it do new game plus again and just go all the way up to expert which by the way we do have easy through expert drills with the smart rider drills and the drill booklet you might want to check it out links in the description it's a badass book i got my my cones on the back because I like to practice randomly in parking lots. All right, so right here we got a bunch of people just kind of hanging out, you know, three by side by side. This person on the left is moving, but he's going to get stuck right there. There it is. So you see how I'm going to kind of get, I'm going to get behind this person. I want to show you what a terrible line of sight is. Look at this, terrible line of sight. Can't see nothing. Let's say I have to swerve. Where am I going to swerve to, to the right and the left? Yeah, sure. But what happens if I'm not paying attention, I'm looking left, boom they slam the brakes. So what I want to do is actually position myself for safety. I'm still in my lane, but look at this. I can see what's in front of them because who knows, they might slam the brakes because there's like alligator skin and, and, and like, you know, a piece of wood in the road. So they slam the brakes. If I wasn't paying attention, I'd slam into them. But if they slam the brakes because something's in the road, I see it. I see it right now. And I can actually go straight into like a lane split or lane filtering position and just go boom. So it's actually positioning myself for success and safety. So I'm going to get out of here. I don't like being this close. And right now, this is kind of a box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going the speed limit. So I'm not going to accelerate hard. I'm going to get away from this person. I'm in their blind spot, kind of scoot up a little bit. Now, if they do look left, they see me. Okay, so if this person to my left slammed or uh, goes far right, because look at big open lane, that lane is not. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to get myself out of here. I didn't like it. Now we got a left turn right here. What I'm doing is presenting. Okay, they're gonna go, they're good, they're good. And what I'm doing is I'm just moving my body a little bit, just a little bit right before an intersection. That's gonna make my headlight kind of do this. It's gonna grab their attention. Like I just said, with camouflage, I'm almost in their blind spot. With camouflage, if you stay still, you're blending into the background, okay? So inattentional blindness, motion-induced blindness is a thing. Isn't this cool though? Look at all these airplanes. I'm looking this way, but I'm just pointing the camera that way. Look at all these AC-130s. These are all for all those COD people that just can't get that kill streak. This is what happens. <laughs> all right, so we're going to be coming up here. We have nice, beautiful mountains. This is Davis Mothin Air Base, by the way. So it's a 50 mile an hour road. Let's go ahead and increase our speed. I like to go a little bit, you know, a little bit faster, but I'm going with the flow of traffic. That's the biggest thing. Okay, I don't want to go super slow because I can get rear-ended. Somebody's not paying attention, boom, hits me. So we got an intersection right here. So I'm going from yellow stage right now to now I'm going to prep for that orange stage. So what I do with orange stage, I'm kind of covering things, but I do have to downshift. I'm in fifth gear. I don't know why. I should be in fourth, but I'm in fifth gear, but I'm going to start doing engine braking. Now, the problem with just doing engine braking is your brake lights don't go on. So I like to tap my, my rear brake because rear brake's only like 20, 30% power. So if I start tapping my front brake, I'm going to be like, doot, 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 doot. so rear brake is a little bit easier. It still activates. I don't like this big open lane. You see what I'm doing? I'm positioning myself for safety for a space cushion between me. So I have more time to react. And I also have an escape route to the, to the right. And that's one thing I really love about Tucson. They have bike lanes, a lot of them, and they're big and we're on a motorcycle. So if I had to, I could always swerve out of the way. Now I don't like this spot, so I'm going to move over. So if you notice, lane position three was good for a little bit. It wasn't anymore. Lane position one is better now. I typically stay in lane position two only if there's no other vehicles on the road or in the mountains. And even then I'm increasing my space cushion because of the mountains. So this person's going up here, constantly checking my mirrors. But you see right now how I can see super far? Not so much here. 
can't see nothing. I can maybe see through the windshield and the back window, but I don't like it because if I have to slam the brakes, I have to react off of their brakes. I'm going to go over here. Now, if I have to react off to their brakes and I'm braking right now and I accidentally don't brake in time, well, I'm going to just be right side by side with this truck instead of in the truck bed. You know what I mean? So that's why I focus heavily, 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 heavily on positioning for safety, locating hazards, adapting randomly and I hope you never have to navigate because that's more of a red stage maneuver. I'm going to get over here. I didn't like being super close to this person and in fact I'm going to scoot over. So whenever I get close to somebody I give myself that space cushion. Yes I don't have an escape to the left but what do I have? An escape with my brakes and an escape with an acceleration. My primary controls are very important. Very, very important. So we're coming up to an intersection up here. I'm gonna go ahead and position myself a little bit over here because I can now have a space cushion to the left and right. It just turned red, so I'm going into orange stage anyways, but I have to stop, so <laughs> that's the thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down, engine brake, downshifting, and I'm gonna tap, 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 tap. It's a green light. So I'm gonna go ahead and position myself for safety over here just in case somebody behind me that red vehicle does not slow down and we're kind of coming up here it's another red light this is a really weird intersection because of this Amazon place Amazon fulfillment now I try to think like if I was a vehicle behind me if I was a vehicle behind me and I and I was out of control and there's like a gap I'm gonna go shoot for that gap so if I'm over here where what gap do you think they're gonna shoot for they're gonna shoot for that gap do you think they're gonna try to hit the curb and jump the median no so I try to put myself in a position where, you know, where would I go? I'm going to do the opposite. Now, not everybody thinks like me, but try to pick the most, you know, realistic thing. Nobody wants to hit a pole. They would rather hit over here. And if I'm super close to this vehicle, maybe they'll just even miss me altogether. So once again, after an intersection, I allow the people in front of me to accelerate faster than me, even though I'm on a motorcycle. I get it. I get it. What's up, buddy? I always wave to, he didn't wave to me, but I always wave to, to the trikes and everybody on two wheels. Anybody without a cage, I wave to just because they're doing a risky thing. All right, so I'm going to do a left-handed turn. I like to be all the way near the median every single time. Like I said, if, you're, if they're going to crash, they're going to go for gaps. They're going to, go, they're going to swerve to the right. They're going to swerve all these other things. We got a left arrow. We got a vehicle coming up. I'm just going to go ahead because I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down, practice my slow straight line, look through the turn, no debris. Very good, here we go. Nice and easy, accelerate through since we do have plenty of room in front of me. It's a 35 mile an hour road. Okay, okay, I don't need to go into fourth gear. Let's go down to third gear. And now we are relaxing. Okay, so what we have right now is a turn. You see how it's blind? That's not good. So we should be in the orange stage right now. Kind of prepped and ready i like middle 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 because i don't know if there's road debris on each side let's go ahead and shift it up and i'm kind of making it easy making it easy oh we got a merge okay we got a pedestrian crossing nobody here we got a merge doing a head check i'm gonna main i'm gonna stay in the lane that it gives me as long as i have to and i love doing head checks mirrors are great and all but head checks man you can you can see really well all right through traffic merge left i'm gonna use my indicator because indicators are easier to see and that's why I also have this white ass helmet. <laughs> because I, I just have like this white head just bopping around. All right, so right now, look at they got construction here. I'm gonna get down, I don't need to be in six gear. They got construction here. So the, the, there's no paint in lines. All you see is these little reflectors. That is your lane. It smells like crap out here because of the new asphalt. So you have to watch out too because if it's kind of slippery and slick when it rains, it's a no bueno. They're still working on this. So be very careful with your progressive braking. Be very careful with your acceleration. Be very careful with your swerves. Jerky movements are not good, especially with the discoloration type thing like this. Now we're about to go into the normal area. Is there a bump? I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift my butt up just a little bit. Eh, just a teeny tiny bump. But when there's a, 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 when a road ends and starts, there could be a bump. So uneven surfaces, we talk about that in our Smart Rider basic training. We got a blind turn coming up ahead. So I'm gonna stay in the middle, middle, middle. Not a big deal because, you know, we're going the speed limit. I don't need to get my knee down. I don't need to get up in here. I don't need to do any of that stuff. Just kind of going over here, nice and easy. Now we got a left turn coming up, but we got cross traffic. So I don't like this traffic. So I'm going to kind of move over here. You know, you never know. This is a fun turn people like to go on. 
But while I'm over here, I'm just using my peripheral to see if there's any vehicles, but I'm looking at this part in the road. So peripheral, now I look. Okay, they're good. Now I'm looking over here. They're good? Okay, now they're good. And I'm just kind of maintaining my my uh, my direct line right here. I don't want any, any debris to be blocking and messing me up. All right, so intersection, orange stage. Going to, I'm gonna always practice, no vehicles here, but I'm practicing my presentation going through. Every time you don't do that, you're just reinforcing not doing it. I'm always, doesn't even matter, doesn't even matter. I'm always presenting at intersections. Vehicle or no vehicle, practice like you play, always do it. You don't wanna practice bad habits. So right here, even though I have a nice base cushion, I like to be off to the left, because like I said, I like to have good line of sight. Now this vehicle in front of me is kind of blocking a lot of it, but you probably can't see it on the GoPro because it's in super view, but I, I see the shadows of the vehicles in front of him because the, the sun is, is shooting it this way, so you see shadows off to the left. So I can see that there's vehicles in front of him. So there's four vehicles. Now we got an intersection way up ahead. It's a green light, so that's a stale green light. So a better chance of it turning red on, it turned yellow right now. So that means I have to decelerate. Now, whenever I start to decelerate, I look in my mirrors. Nobody behind me, okay? That's good, but I'm still gonna tippity tap tap my rear brake. I'm hoping they see the red lights up ahead. Keeping an eye on them. Now, once again, where would they go? More than likely swerve right. Nobody likes to swerve into oncoming traffic. They wanna swerve and hit people in the back, not in the front. They're always scared of people. So I'm gonna be off to the left. Now watch out for gravel. Oh, oh, it's green light. So let's see if we can practice. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, it's always good to practice. You know, every time you do something like this, it's a good practice. Moving through here, present a little bit. Once again, practice that. Let them go forward, maintain, let them go forward. That's a good space cushion I like. All right, so 50 mile an hour speed limit. Okay, we have uh, possible pedestrians and and uh, people coming out of these apartments, so I'm, I'm constantly looking. Like, I'm like, what's this? What's around the corner? What's this? What's around the corner? I'm moving around so I can see things and kind of get a, a situational awareness. I don't even know what the word is. Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm always constantly looking to see what's going on. So I have this like mental aspect. Think of it kind of like Assassin's Creed or any of those video games where you have to go through the fog and climb the tower and all of a sudden you can see everything. <laughs> That's what I'm doing when I'm riding. I'm like, okay, the map hasn't been explored yet. What's over there? The map hasn't been explored yet. What's over here? And yes, I'm a giant nerd, so leave me alone. So right here, I like to see this because who knows? A vehicle could swerve into our lane. I couldn't see it if I'm over there. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So we got somebody passing. They didn't like the speed. We're going 50, whatever. I'm good with this. Um, but this also allows me to swerve left, swerve right, accelerate, decelerate, nobody's behind me. I have the best space cushions in the world. Oh, I gotta get this down. So this is what I like to do all day, every day. When I am riding, I am doubly sure that I'm riding smart and planning my ride full gear, hands on the handlebars at all times. <laughs> oh man, I remember those comments. And every intersection i practice it practice it practice it every single day is a practice if you want to practice your swerves while you're out here pick a spot in the road oh there's this little spot swerve you know just you can practice now right here progressive brake pressure we don't want to do emergency but i'm practicing my progressive brake pressure it's a squeeze it's a squeeze and i'm already slowed really far down so we got nobody coming so i'm gonna actually nobody behind me i got plenty of time is there any road surface hazards no, there is not. So no reason to accelerate super fast through an intersection. No need, no reason to, to go more than 20, to be quite honest, through an intersection. That was something I learned as a, as a teenager uh, with a driving instructor, is that if you're going over, if you're over 20 miles an hour in a turn, in an intersection, a 90 degree turn in a car, you're too fast, way too fast. So I kind of took that to heart. I don't do that here and uh, I make sure that I'm, I'm riding smart and riding safe. But with that said, everybody, we, we just kind of got back to where I needed to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this. I didn't need that GPS. I was just kind of using it as a, an example. But if you like this stuff, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you join the MTC Rider Academy. We teach all of this, but I wanted to show you what it looked like in real time. What's up, everybody? Nice little wave. And uh, I'll see you around.